Hey Clashes, should you take one clone or two clone spell with your Super Archer Bloom? That is the question of this video. We're going to try to find out with some life attacks. But before we dive into the attacks, we want to find out what is the best clan castle troop composition for a Super Archer Bloom. Because I see so many people commentating, four Super Archers are so good, why don't you take them? And I say, no. <laughs> Whenever you see a YouTuber highlighting a four Super Archer Bloom, run. Don't stop, don't look bad, just run. If it's for a legend video, for like an at like normal um, approach, whenever it's not for a specific clan war or something, um, and someone is highlighting you for a super archer blim, just run. It is so stupid. Whenever you're facing a giant bomb, whenever you're facing any traps whatsoever, whenever you're facing an Electro Titan clan castle, you have no chance whatsoever. Those goblins, those wall breakers are in this blimp because you want to trigger traps. You have overall 10 troops coming out of this blimp before your super archers are even getting released, which is giving you a lot of time to trigger giant bombs, small bombs, spring traps, lure out the clan castle and prepare so you can lure it to another corner and the Electro Titan is not as annoying as it is normally overall. That is the reason. Now you might wonder why wall breaks and why goblins together. The main reason is whenever you're landing in a closed compartment, let's say you're landing on top of a scatter shot and that is just like circled by a wall. Well, how should like how should your goblins die? This is the problem. So you need wall breakers to actually get those goblins out of the compartment so you can eventually clone your super archers. And that's why you're using wall breaks. The goblins are in there because they will always go for the town hall and with that always have the straight path for the town hall and it can trigger a lot of traps as well. This is why you have those two troops in this blimp as well. Since we have now this uh, figured this out, let's try to find out one clone or two clone. Let's go in. Okay, we're actually taking Bernal's second account or one of his accounts. So what could we do? It's always the big question to me, how good are those players with baiting and defending those Super Archer Blimps? That's the big question. Um, so I'm not really sure on how good he is with defending those because you can land onto bomb towers if there is no additional traps around it. But I don't know if, if Bernal has those, so that's like the problem. So let's just do a risky approach over here and try to get close to the Blimp for the um, Clan Castle, something like that. Let's do that next. Like, I will invest all three rocket loons to get as far into the base as possible. I will use one archer on the corner. Okay, but I feel like at the moment, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people are using triple ice golem. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you have seen, we have triggered those skeleton traps with our um, wall breaks and everything. So, um, yeah, you can see already why we have not only used super arches, because it's stupid. So now again, one, two, three, and four. Nicely done. And now let's get ready to take down those annoying ice golems and get ready to wreck the space. So, those in, warden in. I would delay my queen, I'm just too scared. Whenever I do an attack like this, Something is going to backtrack to this bottom side with ice golems and I do not want to have this happen This is why I'm only placing melee troops to make sure it's less likely that this is going to happen Okay, that's the main reason why I'm doing this So as this air defense is hopefully going to fall soon We're going to send a couple of coco loons in and so far everything is looking smooth. That's nice Okay, we have the headhunter running in take down the defending Royal champ that's great. Oh, is it going? Yes! It's going to trigger the poison tower. Let's go get wrecked. Nice. That was so, that was so good. It was not planned, but it was so good. <laughs> Sometimes you need to be lucky, okay? Sometimes you need to be lucky. So now king ability is soon. Then we can place the warden ability. Now I think that's a great time. And those loons are going in. They might even take down even more of those spell towers. Let's see. Maybe they can trigger another spell tower. Who knows? But I think so far it's looking great. Queen hopefully is, yep, walking around as well. Let's take that king out with our headhunter. Can we already place something on the back? We can place this archer. We can place this minion. So we have already a little bit on the back and we have 40 seconds left. We can use the royal gem on the far side to actually clean things up, speed things up, make sure we don't run into time issues because I feel like this right now is our biggest problem. Wall break over here. 
Roy Champion in. Otherwise, we have a problem. Now, with that being said, I will just place everything and hope that we're going to get as quickly this... Oh, no, I think this is going to be a time break guaranteed, right? Queen ability now. Roy Champion ability can be used now. Oh, no. 40, 14 seconds. Nope, I was too slow. I was too slow. I was just talking too much. God damn it. Why am I talking so much in those videos? This is like the big, big problem. But I mean, it was a great attack <laughs> anyways, I would say. But let's see if we can three star the next one. So what the big advantage of this is, is that you can keep your troops alive longer. And especially if something is going wrong, like you're going straight into a bait, for example. This is where this attack strategy can really shine because you have another rage, which you can like use later for your titans, for example. So this is always the bonus. At the same time though, let's see if we can do something nice here. I think we can try to land onto the queen. Let's let's try and do that. Already place the archer and then like this. One, two and one there. And then ooh, I think that was a little bit early with the blimp, but let's see. So blimp is targeting my poor blimp. That's fine. Like this, one, two, three and four, one, two three and four one two three and four again let's raise that up and then next invisibility spell one two three and four again it's like always this counting in those videos i'm kind of sorry for that I, I have to sound like a complete idiot but that's not how you play it right like this is how, how you do it and what you should do with playing this strategy, but yeah. So now the king, we're going to use a Bay Dragon to funnel this. Those Titans, obviously, because the Hound needs to go down. And this is like the best counter against that. Heaters in as well. Warden, we don't want to miss that. And then we just push in Pekka in there as well. Coco Loon. Where's the Warbreak? Okay, the Warbreak is going completely off to the side, but that's fine. The funnel is set, okay? We're going straight into the, into the eagle, straight into the monolith. That's exactly where we would like to go. So king ability, headhunter com combined. Take down this monolith. Oh, where is my war? My warden just did one small step to the wrong side. What is going on with you, old man? Come on. <laughs> just follow the main group. Don't be the, that guy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Still, we should be looking good, I think, with this push. Um, Roy Champ giving up the top side. That's great. Can we already place some cleanup? I think one archer down here should be a nice thing. One archer over there should be a nice thing. Wall breakers. The entire base is open. Okay, and this one, the base, it does not even allow me to do anything. But yeah. So, with already now the second attack in, what is my experience so far? What is my gut feeling so far with this one clown? I think... It feels to be safer, especially against um, invisibility towers, uh, because you can like outlast the invisibility spell. At the same time though, what I feel like is the double clone is getting you further into the base and it has more power. Um, that's at least my gut feeling. I don't know if that's true to be honest, but that's kind of what my experience says so far. But um, yeah, let's try it one more time and see if we have anything different as a result. But that attack looked really good. Damn good, I would say. I liked it. It's... I would just like to attack the base again, the exact same way, but with two clones. Sadly, this is not how it works. Okay, here we go. What do we have here? Nice looking base. A nice looking base. We could... I think we should fly straight onto the Royal Gem, right? I feel like this is... The, this has to be the best thing we can do. And then, um... We should be able to reach that um, that town hall from the outside, so we don't even have to clone into the base, which is another nice bonus. So I think that's what we should do. So let's do exactly that. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, five straight away. Then already one archer down here, so the clan castle is getting lured away. And then like another rocket loon in just a bit, so we can get as far into the base as possible. Okay. Let's see how far we can get. So... Like this, raise it up. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four again. One, two, 
three and go for the town hall, please. One, two, three. Thank goodness. I like you, archers. I like you a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> so let's go there. We can, I think, yeah, we can just... No! This was supposed to be a baby dragon. Oh my lord. Okay. This is going to get interesting now. Oh no, there was supposed to be a baby dragon. Small little baby dragon. Instead, it's a... Not a baby dragon. So, maybe we can actually take down the royal champ like that, though. Hope you at least a little bit. Great. Oh boy. One minion. Please let the minion work. This is not good. This is not how this was supposed to work. God damn it. Okay, king ability. Wind is following him for ages, but that's fine. Now the warn ability, as we're covering this one lonely whatever to the right side, the titan. Can we already play something in the corners? Corner, corner. Okay, Queen is going to the wrong side as well. I don't like you anymore, troops, because you are going... I mean, technically it's my mistake because I'm not funneling, but I just don't like you anymore. I feel like that's just... It's just nicer to blame those troops, right? Because whenever you blame yourself, that's always hurting more. <laughs> so... Oh no, that had, had that had was too late as well. What am I doing? Okay, okay. Keep calm, keep calm. The headhunter reached eventually his target. Come on, come on, take it out, take it out. Yeah, uh, yes. There you go. Wait a second. We need to break something in. Otherwise, that. Oh no, that gold storage. Don't tell me this is a time fail. I would definitely just blame the troops for that one. <laughs> not, not me at all. But yeah. So let's try to find a result for this for this question which I asked in the beginning what is better one clone or two clone and um, at the moment I would say there is no clear answer it is really dependent on your play style if you want to have the biggest the biggest power overall you could get it's double clone for sure it's it's easier to get baited but I feel like especially with warden blimps maybe it's better overall well, this one, it feels more like more, you can outlast a lot of things. For example, you can outlast the invisibility tower, which gives you more flexibility. If you're running into a bait, you have another rage to like for backup. So it has a lot of pros for sure. At the same time though, if you have the possibility of landing close to the core, this huge power sometimes feels like it's really missing. That's pretty much my conclusion. Try it out on your own. Let me know how you feel about it. I think it's just... The one is more safe, the other one is more risky, if that makes sense. That's at least how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments. I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next video. Until then, see ya and bye-bye.